What's up, YouTube? Thanks for clicking on my channel. Uh, today's episode, we're going to be continuing the cloth simulation tutorial from uh, how to make cloth for dimensions. But today, we're going to be looking at how to actually make like clothing for dimensions. And in order to do that, I'm actually going to be using uh, someone else's tutorial. It's going to be this guy. Uh, pretty much mostly what his steps and what he taught me. But I'm going to be showing you how to be able to get this into dimensions. And it's pretty much the same thing as last video. But if you want to make clothing, um, you know, this is going to be pretty important. So let's open up Blender, like we did last time. And this is going to be our start scene as it opens up. There we go. And first step is hit X and then delete the cube. Now we want to add a cube. Okay. So first things first for this is I really kind of just need to build a bit of a mannequin. I could go online download a free mannequin online and, uh, you know, just import that. But I'm, I'm kind of lazy. I don't really want to look online for something. You could probably find that. So I'm not really going to do it. And I need this guy's arms to be smaller. Okay, so this is my mannequin. Um, yeah, it's, it's not great. I'm not really going to spend a bunch of time on it. I'm just going to slap a subdivide on it and hope that everything goes well and kind of rounds it out a little and it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine for my mesh. Okay, so to do clothing, you really, it's a 3D program, so you want to treat it like it's like real life, you're making the clothing. So what you're going to want to do is obviously uh, have your cloth, like your clothing template for cutout. I, I, I'm not, I'm not a seamstress. I don't really know what this stuff is called, but you want like uh, this kind of stuff, stuff that you would actually cut out on physical cloth. And you're basically just going to trace this. How you would do that is you would hit shift A, import reference image, okay? But you want to make sure you're looking at this side because when you import the reference image, it's going to import it specifically to line up with this front view. So just imagine I did that. And I'm matching something because I'm not. So I'm importing a plane. We're going to hit R to rotate it and Y to rotate it on the Y axis. And we're going to do it 90 degrees so that it's facing the camera. G and X to move it in front of the camera. And it's a bit too far forward. So let's move it a little bit right there. And now let's make the shirt. So we're going to hit this edge, E and Z to extrude up on the Z axis. And we're going to do command R to loop cut, which is the yellow lets you place it. Clicking once selects the axis. Clicking again places it. So I'm just going to do a few loop cuts like this. And what I want to do is I need to make the sleeves. So I'm going to select these edges. I'm going to hit E, S, and Y to extrude these on the Y axis. And now I'm going to click out a tab, go over here to subdivision, and I'm just going to bump this up to about three for each of them. Do simple and hit apply. And now we have a pretty evenly distributed mesh, which is going to be good for running cloth simulation. So this is the front of our shirt and you know we need to make a neck hole actually my face is selected and i'm going to select it like that yeah and i'm going to hit x and delete those faces and that's going to be our neck hole all right so click a to select the whole thing we're going to hit e and x to extrude on the x-axis and bring our shirt uh, around our, our model. And it maybe, you know, I, I feel like it's a little bit big. I'm going to make it about there. Select A, G, X, and just move the whole thing. And that should be pretty good. So we have a boxy selection here. So we need to delete some of these faces. And so I'm going to select everything on this side and hit X and delete faces. So we have our armhole, everything on this side for the armhole everything on the bottom for the bottom. And you want to hold shift if you want to increase your selection. Otherwise, it'll just make a new selection. And we're just going to select these. And we're going to select 
these. And we are going to deselect that and hit X and faces to get rid of the faces. Okay, we are almost there. We're going to click and look at it from the side, hit Shift Z to go into wireframe mode, and we are going to select everything in the middle. The reason why you did wireframe mode is because if you didn't, then you wouldn't have been able to select all of them. It would have only selected what's facing the camera. As you can see, it only selected those. So I'm going to go back into wireframe mode, Shift Z, and select all the faces front and back. Going out of wireframe mode, Shift Z, and looking at normal uh, solid view, I'm going to now hit the X key and don't delete faces. You're going to delete only faces, and that leaves you with edges. So when we run the cloth simulation, the cloth simulation is going to treat these uh, just the, the wireframe lines as like stitching. And let's just see how good this looks, you know? So we got this here. Let's get out of tab, put on our physics, identify it as cloth. Click on this guy, identify this as collision. Click back onto this, scroll down to collisions on its own, make sure self collision is checked on. And you also want to go and check on sewing. And I think that's under shape. And sewing is right here. So now when we click play, it uh, makes a shirt. I'm just going to pause it. Um, hmm. You know what? Okay, so I know why that's happening. So let me go back into edit mode and just select this side and just move it away a little farther. And then select it all. Just give it all a little more space. And that should fix the uh, clipping in the back side for us. Okay, we're just gonna bump up the quality a little bit just cause why not, put it on eight. I don't know, I'm not gonna mess with any of these. You can adjust this stuff, uh, just the quality of the collision. And let's hit play again. Oh, let's get out of tab, hit play again. And this is going really slow. So I'm just gonna stop it on this frame and just say that this is good. Yeah, uh, let's get rid of that cube, and that's basically our seams. Obviously, uh, my character was too fat, so he was splitting the seams in a few spots. Right-click on the, on the selection to bring up Shade Smooth, and we get something a little better. So again, to get this, if you were doing this, obviously I'd hope you'd spend more time on your shirt, do an actual proper cutout, but to get your shirt, out of Blender and in Dimensions. Of course, you go over here to Export, Wavefront OBJ, and I'm just going to do mine on my desktop and export it here. And when it's done, I'm going to come over here now and open up Dimensions. Click on Create New. I'm clicking You see me clicking it. You see me. I'm, I'm clicking it. Okay, thank you. Command I to import your model. I'm going to select my untitled OBJ and click enter, and that's going to import it into my scene. I'm going to move it up so that it's on the bottom of my scene, and I'm going to rotate around and delete my little mannequin cube because uh, I just want to look. Whoop, wrong cube. I'm going to delete that cube because I just want to see the shirt by itself. And let's slap on a material, some metal. Look at it with like the preview render. Yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's, uh, it, it could be better. I, you know, if you have a good mannequin, it gets the good contours of the human body. And obviously if you had a better cutout of a shirt, your shirt wouldn't look like garbage like mine does. Um, but again, I'm, uh, I'm not a fashion designer. I don't really know how to make clothes, but that's the principles of how to make clothes for yourself. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope this helped out. That's pretty much it. Uh, you just want to make sure that when you're you got your blender simulation running with cloth, that you have a, another shape like a mannequin for collisions. Um, make sure that 
in your cloth your self collision is checked on and that you have sewing checked on and that's pretty much it and then you just got to adjust stuff to make sure that you're not splitting seams and like your fabric isn't necessarily like shrinking too much this is all in the settings here that you can adjust but that's pretty much it so thanks for clicking on i hope this helped out and if you guys make any cool clothes i'd love to see them so be sure to share those when you can and uh, maybe we can all talk about them that would actually be really fun uh so if you like what you saw be sure to smash the like and subscribe button if you didn't then hit dislike and never come back uh thanks bye